So the question is draw the circuit of op amp integrator. Derive the expression for the output voltage. So this is a question which is asked in the year 2021. Okay. So we have to draw the circuit of an op amp integrator. So before that what is meant by an integrator? Integrator can be defined as an element whose output signal whose output signal is the time integral of the input signal, right? Whose uh, output signal is the time integral of the input signal. So in the case of op-amp, uh, how will you draw the diagram of an integrator? So in the case of inverting op-amp, okay? So inverting op-amp, if you replace the feedback resistor by means of a capacitor, you will be getting the circuit of an integrator. So inverting terminal, non-inverting terminal, V out. So this is your input and you will be having plus V minus V, right? So these are the important connections which you have. So inverting op-amp. So your non-inverting terminal will be grounded across the inverting terminal. You are going to give your input signal, okay? So this will be your V in let me take this as R1. So instead of giving a feedback as resistor, you are going to replace it by a capacitor. So this is your capacitor CF. Now this circuit is called as your op-amp integrator. So the feedback is replaced, feedback resistor is replaced by a feedback capacitor. So if I take this as node A, since the non-inverting terminal is grounded, uh, what will happen here, this is also will be in virtual ground. So I can tell that this value at this uh, node A is equal to 0, okay. So you let us assume that the current flowing across your R1 is I1 and the current flowing uh, through your feedback capacitor, I am taking it as IC, okay, capacitor current, okay, these are the, so you now you have got the circuit diagram. Now what you have to find out, you have to find out the expression of your output voltage, but you know that output voltage is the integration of the input voltage. So if you want to find out the expression, let us start with the analysis, okay. So considering the node A, so first you take your node A and apply Kirchhoff current law. Current flowing towards is equal to current flowing away. So current I1 is flowing towards, current IC is flowing away. So what, will you, what, what you will be having the equation I1 is equal to IC. Now what is your I1? I1 will be equal to input V in minus 0 divided by R1, right? So you will be getting V in minus 0 divided by R1. Now, what is your current across your capacitor? So, you, in general, you know that the current across your capacitor is given by, what is your formula? If Q is your charge, Q is equal to C into V, right? If I take this as VC, voltage across a capacitor, what will be your current across your capacitor? IC is equal to DQ divided by DT, which is equal to C, substitute the value for Q. So, you will be getting C as constant. Now, D, VC divided by DT. So IC is equal to C into DVC divided by DT. So if I substitute the value C into DVC divided by DT. <coughs> now what is your capacitor voltage? So if I rewrite it V in minus 0 divided by R1 which is equal to C into what is this uh, voltage? Capacitor voltage here. What will be your capacitor voltage? 0 minus V out. Your capacitor voltage here 0 minus V0. So I am substituting it in this here. Okay, 0 minus V out. So divided by DT. Now if I reconfigure it V in divided by R1 which is equal to minus C into D right. Here you will be getting D V out divided by DT. Just rearrange this equation. So what is the, uh, uh, what do you want here? V out right. So D V out divided by DT which is equal to what will be the value? So you will be getting minus 1 divided by R1 C. If I can take this as CF, right? Since here it is CF, we will take it as CF. R1 into CF into V in. So if I take integration both the sides, what you will be getting? Integration differentiation will get cancelled, right? So you will be getting, I can write it once again, dV out which is equal to minus 1 by R1 CF integration of V in of T into DT. So what will be the value? This will be cancelled. So I can write that V out is equal to 
minus 1 by R1 Cf integration V in of T into dt. So ultimately you are getting the output voltage as the integration of your input voltage. These are the uh, things which you have to write for this question circuit diagram and your uh, derivation.